Morning, Seafree in Chicago with the morning grand comments. Well, markets are uh, lower overnight. I think we started uh, yesterday with some weaker tone in the wheat and soybeans, simply because uh, there are three things that the market has been trading up since August, and especially in the last 30 days. Number one is China buying. And some people think that China has now slowed or even stopped their old crop buying of U.S. soybeans and are beginning to buy new crop. New crop open U.S. soybean sales are a record 3.6 million metric tons. And so that's losing some of the inverse in the marketplace and losing some of the upside momentum. The second thing is South American weather. <clears throat> People are thinking that maybe somewhere between five and seven million tons of lower uh, corn crop and maybe a little bit more lower bean crop is expected because of the dry weather. Uh, the weather has changed. Uh, there has been some rain in northern Argentina, and there has been uh, some uh, showers in central Brazil, and maybe even too much rain in southern Brazil. And now it looks like some of this rain could eventually move up into the northeast area of Brazil where it's the driest. We only have 2% of the Brazil harvest done, which is well behind average and probably the slowest in 10 years. We've got uh, a little over 9 million tons of vessels that need to be loaded in Brazil for beans and only 54,000 tons were loaded in the month of January. <clears throat> and so this has everybody thinking that uh, there'll be a shift of some demand in beans and corn to the U.S. But so far we haven't seen those numbers in the beans and the corn, uh, there was no new sales to China yesterday. We also note that uh, the market was expecting that USDA in February would lower South American crops, raise our exports and lower our carryouts to some very low numbers. It looks like now maybe the USDA may wait till March to do something like that. They'll be waiting for more harvest data out of South America. <clears throat> They'll be trying to figure out uh, what the pace is as far as U.S. sales are concerned and may decide to leave carryouts where they are, 1,500 in corn and 140 in beans uh, and try to be conservative because they really can't figure out a way to lower it any more than that without uh, rallying prices sharply. And so that is beginning to trigger some of the long liquidation um, in especially the corn where um, the funds are record long. Um, they don't have much of a position in the wheat. They keep flip-flopping from being long and short depending upon news out of Russia. And they have not really increased their uh, long in the beans. Much of the recent buying in beans probably is either more speculative or commercial related. We also note that uh, things are getting tight in the U.S. as far as bean and corn carry, uh, stocks are and basis remain firm. So we'll see uh, how the market wants to handle this time frame in which normally prices are on the defensive until March 1. We also know today's Groundhog Day, and we'll see if we've got more winter ahead of us or if spring comes early. And then we'll be watching pretty closely some near record cold temperatures that are coming into the Midwest early next week. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.